Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a relatively large storm that's developing right now in the United States and this particular storm is about to bring a lot more problems to many areas in the country including the potential for severe weather which could lead to some large hail damaging winds perhaps even an isolated tornado or two between today and through Sunday and we'll also be talking about another large storm that's on the horizon early next week this particular storm will bring some significant flooding to areas along the west coast of the united states and it might even bring some snowfall to areas in the northern plains and perhaps even the midwest i'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening across the united states today and we will begin with this storm which is actually ongoing right now across the central plains the low pressure center is kind of back in here closer to northeast new mexico and southeast Colorado. Colorado. And really the big deal with this particular low pressure center is it's not really that intense yet and it's not very strong. In addition to that, it's actually not very large yet, but it will be tonight. Once this low pressure center moves a little bit further off to the east, we are going to get a fairly strong pull of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. And once that starts to happen, we are going to see a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity tonight. And that'll wind all the way through the weekend into early next week for areas in the southeast United States as well. So this is going to begin in the central and southern plains and then eventually move toward the southeast United States with severe weather being possible. You might be wondering where this particular storm even came from. Well, believe it or not, we had a low pressure system move across areas just west of California and the Pacific Ocean. It moved into Canada, but a bunch of moisture and energy came across from Southern California over the Rocky Mountains, and that is why we're going to see the potential for some severe storms tonight all the way through Sunday. Back over in the northeast of the Midwest, by the way, things are relatively quiet still, and I don't really anticipate anything to be too crazy there over the next few days. Now, I do want to touch briefly on this particular weather pattern that we're seeing across the United States, and this is the jet stream. This gives you an idea of the weather patterns that are occurring across the United States in the upper levels, and this is what we basically have right now. We had a low pressure center that moved through areas across the Pacific Ocean. It moved to the northeast through Canada, right? Still a very strong Pacific jet stream that is bringing atmospheric rivers to areas like California, and that is going to dump a ton of rain, by the way, early next week, and we're going to talk about how much rain you'll see there in just a second. We also have this massive wall that is now moving to the east. Originally, this wall was blocking storms from entering the United States, but that wall has now opened up. So we're basically going to see that little low pressure system sneak into the southern tier of the United States. It feels very El Nino-like. That's very El Nino for this sort of event. And then once we go into this weekend, things are going to change a little bit. So that high pressure system will continue to stay across areas in the Midwest. For those in the Midwest, that means that above average temperatures are in the forecast for this time of the year. Low pressure pressure system will move through areas in Texas and Oklahoma. Notice back over in the Pacific Ocean, we'll be watching for a storm to crash into California once we go into late Sunday through Monday. This system will move all the way through Tuesday. Notice that other low pressure system, it'll move all the way through Florida and by Tuesday, that's off to the Atlantic Ocean. Once we go into late Tuesday into Wednesday, a little bit of ridging starts to come back basically across areas along the Gulf Coast. But by the time we get closer to Wednesday and Thursday of next week, so about six to seven days from now, we will have to be watching this area in particular, anywhere from the Rocky Mountains back through the Midwest, because we actually could get some snow out of this particular storm that moves through late next week. Where that snow exactly happens is still a little bit uncertain, but I will give you my take on that here in a few minutes once we look at the future radar. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days, and we will begin with today, which is Flying Fences Friday. We have a slight risk of severe weather across parts of central and southern Texas. That does include areas like Austin, Texas, and also Abilene. We also have a marginal threat of severe weather for western Oklahoma back into parts of southeast Texas and the DFW Metroplex. The main concern for today, and it's primarily going to be tonight overall, is going to be large to very large hail. Where the very large hail would fall would be back over here just west of Austin. So it's a pretty small area and overall not very populated, but if you're in those areas, definitely make sure you're protecting your vehicles tonight and any plants that might be outdoors. Hail threat will also exist back through the DFW Metroplex. There is is a tornado risk tonight, but it's not too, too high. It's on the low side of things. There might be an isolated tornado or two. We might be going live for this tonight, believe it or not, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live. Tomorrow, there's another threat of severe weather. It's right along the Gulf Coast, a very small area. The main area that's included in this is Houston. We'll be looking for the potential for isolated damaging winds, perhaps again in maybe a brief tornado. By Sunday, the severe weather threat will shift into Florida. I wouldn't be surprised if 
this marginal threat gets extended a bit further up to the north main concern right now is damaging winds and perhaps a couple of tornadoes i would not be surprised though again if we go a little bit higher up to the north with that risk and perhaps even a slight risk of severe weather would not be ruled out all right here's the timing for the southern plains today this is four o'clock so overall most of the showers and storms are non-severe at four o'clock this afternoon by the time we go to six we'll be watching for storms to develop back in areas in the hill country back into central texas near abilene this will be the particular area to watch for for damaging winds and large hail there also could be a brief tornado the significant hail threat will be coming out of these supercells that develop back down here just west of austin by around seven eight o'clock tonight the storms move off to the east toward the dfw metroplex by nine to ten storms are moving toward houston also through the dfw area by midnight all those storms are moving through dfw and by the overnight hours a lot of the storm activity will go to non-severe it'll be a lot more rainfall more than anything there could still be a little bit of damaging wind potential happening back down near houston during the late overnight hours into early tomorrow morning and eventually all that storm activity will shift to the east and by lunchtime tomorrow most of the severe weather should be done with and all that severe weather will actually be all over the gulf of mexico and then we'll be looking for the potential for some severe weather back over in florida as we go into sunday for the remainder of the weekend into early next week this is what the weather looks like across the entire lower 48 again there will be actually some snow by the way across the rocky mountains back into the pacific northwest overall a lot of that snow will be in the higher elevations once we go into early next week so by monday notice that storm across areas in florida this will be sunday primarily for the storm activity there will still be some remaining rainfall by monday once we go into tuesday we'll be watching for a storm to crash into california so the main concern will be from sunday night through tuesday morning there will be some heavy rainfall there once we go into wednesday that storm moves over the rocky mountains and we'll be watching for the potential of some snowfall out of this exactly where it falls and how heavy it is is still a bit of an uncertainty point but there will likely be a snow potential across areas in the northern plains primarily but there will also be at least a low chance of some snow as we go into late thursday night to friday morning in the upper midwest but it might shift a little bit over the next few days so stay tuned make sure to subscribe to the channel once we go into friday we'll be watching for showers and storms from the northeast back into the southeast we would not be talking about storms by the way most likely at least in parts of the northeast but there will be a chance for that back down in the dixie alley if there's severe weather exactly when it happens all that sort of stuff again still a little bit uncertain since we're still several days out by the way this is the rainfall accumulation that you can expect in california as we go into early next week so again sunday through tuesday morning is the main concern right now for california we're talking a widespread two to five inches of rainfall areas down in southwest california could see as much as four to eight inches of rainfall and there's a very good chance that we will be seeing that in a scattered sense and not just isolated isolated higher amounts though definitely not out of the question with this particular event thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you're not already